Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And good day to everyone. At least I hope you are having a good day. So anyway, y'all, let's get into this video. Yesterday, I made a video about the Fuji's, uh, uh, their reunion tour. So come to find out, the North American part of the tour was canceled due to low ticket sales. So of course, people are blaming Lauren Hill. A lot of the fans are blaming Lauren Hill. And uh, I blame Lauren Hill also because just like I said in that video yesterday, y'all, Lauren Hill doesn't, either she's late or she doesn't show up and people are sick of that. I never saw her or tried to see her live, but it's been years of people complaining about the same thing with her. They pay their money to go see her. And like I said, either she shows up late or she doesn't show up at all. And when I say she shows up late, I'm not meaning minutes late. I mean hours late from what, you know, from what people were saying. So nothing's changed about that. Like I said, she's been doing that for years and you're still doing that. I think she just recently did that. So people are just sick of her and they don't want to spend their money on her, y'all. So anyway, I also mentioned in the video how Proz, her Fuji's bandmate, he's agreeing with the fans. He's agreeing that the reason that, you know, they weren't selling any tickets is, is because of Lauren Hill. People really don't want to see Lauren Hill, and it's really sad because she's an amazing artist. And when she performs, her performances are nice. But people are just getting sick of her not showing up and acting like their time is not valuable. These people are spending money to see you, and you're not even valuing their time. So people are sick of it, y'all. So Proz, um, he said something about it. He said that he's been sick of it. It's been 20 years of that, and he's no longer being quiet about it. And I guess he's sick of Lauren Hill, too, y'all. Just like I said, he's agreeing with what the fans are saying about why, uh, why the ticket sales were low. So now, y'all, when he said that he wasn't going to be quiet about it, I didn't think that it was going to be in a form of a diss song. But while I was making that video yesterday, I had just saw that Proz had did a diss song, so, you know, dissing, uh, had did a track dissing Lauren Hill. So, y'all, now, I don't, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's all rap, uh, you know, part of the culture and, all that type of stuff, y'all. But I just kind of feel like, like, Cross, like, you might be too grown, dude. I mean, I don't know, y'all, how how y'all feel about it. Because I just feel like, I mean, he's too grown. Okay, she's doing what she's been doing for 20 years. If you haven't said anything about it in 20 years. But I guess, I guess the difference here is the fact that she's the reason, she's the reason for their tour being canceled. So I could see why I can definitely, like, I feel him 100%, y'all. I feel him 100%, but I don't think I would have went as far as made a track dissing this woman. She just would have never heard from me. You know, she just, Lauren Hill would have just been, you know, just the time in the Fugees as far as I would have been concerned. She wouldn't have had to hear anything from me or, or any of that. We wouldn't have had to be friends or any of that. And then from the looks of it, the Fugees are just done. So y'all don't even have to see each other anymore, probably. So I don't think I would have went as far as making a diss track. But like I said, I would have had to. I would have I would have cut Lauren off. I would have cut her off. But anyway, y'all, let me get into this article. It says, Pros, Lauren Hill calls Fuji's mask. Records Bar Mitzvah diss track. So, okay, y'all, let's see. And we'll come back to the update later on, y'all. But, um... Okay, so the article says, Pross has nothing but time now that the Fuji's anniversary tour is no longer happening, and TMZ Hip Hop obtained his newest track, ripping Lauren Hill and addressing his federal case. On the track, Bar Mitzvah, Pross incorporates a rock and roll rap hybrid to air his frustrations when he raps. Don't blame me, blame her. She made the mess. Not another effing penny is what I told Clef. We're told the song was recorded sometime last week when Pros needed to blow off steam on the hills of low ticket sales, shutting down the legendary hip hop trio's reunion plans. Remember, Pros agrees with fed up fans that Lauren's reputation for being late and missing shows justified them boycotting the concerts. 
you got to think, Lauren's lateness also jams up his and the band's schedule, not to mention any invited celebrity guests at the shows. After a while, everyone starts to treat the tour like a big joke. Bar Mitzvah appears to amplify those feelings. He's not tripping over the lost revenue. He's a founder member of the Diamond Selling Rap Group and prides himself on their rep with the fans above all. He was present for the Fuji's performance at the Roots Picnic, but skipped the Coachella and BET shows in the past. Pross also lyrically reflects on his guilty verdict in his fraud trial last year. As we previously reported, several high-profile figures were scheduled to testify, and Pross calls out one in particular, Obama's name, and the discoveries had to plead the fifth. For the record, Pross is appealing the verdict. It remains free because his sentencing hasn't even been scheduled. The last time we caught Pross out, he admitted he first learned about the reunion plans from our reporting, and it's clear he and Lauren still aren't speaking much. Only Wyclef can settle the score between them now. A clapback track from El Boogie will also liven up the rap community. Ah, uh, we can forget about that. We can forget about that. I'm almost certain Lauren Hill ain't even... I'm almost certain Lauren Hill not going to come back and say anything because she probably just I think Lauren Hill is probably how I said that that I would be if I was pros. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she you know, she know what's what and she knows what the deal is. But yeah, so I just don't think that she's going to waste her time and respond to that. I just feel like she's not. So yeah, y'all. So it's just it's just crazy like I, I just don't, um, like I said, I don't think that I would have made a diss track. And I'm not going to, TMZ has the diss track up here, y'all. But I'm not going to play it because um, I don't feel like YouTube with the copyright thing and all of that. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. So I don't feel like all of that. So I'm not going to play the video. I mean, play the song. But it's all over the place by now. Y'all can pull it up, YouTube and all of that Come on, TMZ is right here on TMZ and all of that, y'all. So y'all can go in there and pull it up if y'all want to hear it. But um, let me read the update to y'all because the update says, it says 120, uh, 1.20 p.m., so I'm assuming that's today. So it says that Pra saved the song's outro bits for his IG story. Apparently, Lauren Hill values serving clickbait and buying Gucci bags over keeping her word. So, uh... What this says is that nobody will remember clickbait beefs, your salary, how many Gucci bags you own, bogus, bogus excuses. People will remember how you made them feel if you kept your word, if they could count on you, if you come on time. So just like I said, y'all, I feel, I feel pros, but at the same time, I don't think that I would have one as far as making, um, making a song dissing her. I just wouldn't have. Just like I said, I would have been like I said, pros needed to be. If I if I were pros, how I would be. Because Lauren Hill wouldn't have, she wouldn't have heard anything from me. I would have cut her off. Y'all, I'm my cut off game is on point. When I say I'm done with you and I'm cutting you off, I mean that. And so many people found that out. So many people found that out. They found out that it wasn't just something that I was saying, just talking out the side of my face and all that. No, I really meant that. When I say I'm done, I'm done. So my cutoff game be serious. And if I was pros, that's what I would have done. I would have just cut her off. But at the same time, Lauren Hill is probably doing the same thing to him because I bet you her cutoff game probably on point. So she probably going to cut him off. Just like I said, that's why I don't think that she's going to reply back to, to his desk. I don't know. Maybe he's not looking for a response either um, because he could have just put it out there just so just to get it off his mind and to let people know how he felt about the situation and all of that. And then, you know, leave it at that after that. So he may not be looking for a response back from her. Like I said, it's probably just something that he just wanted to get off of his chest and he did in a song. So, I mean, if that's the case and they're not going to start the going back and forth, which I don't think is going to get to y'all. Just like I said, Lauren Hill is not going to be with all that. So I can almost assume that she's not, you know, we're not going to hear anything, not as far as a rap diss um, from her uh, to him. But anyway, y'all, that's just crazy. I, just like I said, at the end of the day, I still feel like he's too grown for that. 
Now, also, like I said, y'all, if it's something, if he just wanted to get it up off of his chest, then, you know, by all means. But to just come out and just make a diss song and dissing her and, you know, all of that, I'm really kind of not feeling that. And I kind of feel like he's he's too grown for that. But, you know, I can't tell somebody uh, how to release their frustrations and all of that. Everybody has different ways of release, releasing frustrations and releasing stress. And like I said, that was probably just some things he wanted to get off of his chest. So it probably was just that and, you know, nothing more than that. But anywho, y'all, thank y'all for watching my video. I'm out.